Whoa. So, after nine whole years, GTA Online finally gets a balance update. Honestly, I can't believe it's took them this long to do it, but here we go. After a good long while of getting a tremendous amount of content, like heists, businesses, game modes, clothes, cars, guns, properties, house, boats, and planes, one thing we have never gotten was an update that balances the game, adds accessibility, or brings older content back into relevancy. Back into relevancy. Until now, that is. Now, normally, this wouldn't be a big deal. Games get balancing updates all the time. Just look at titles like COD, Overwatch, WoW, League, the unnamed messes. That all have constant adjustments and changes happening not just in major updates, but throughout their seasons on a usually by week by week basis. But not RE GTA Online. Of course they don't conform like the rest. But anyway, what did they even change in this update? Well. Let's first see the new content. We got a new badge of contact missions that have you sworn in as an IAA agent and do the usual GTA shenanigans thereafter. Apart from that, however, we got a slew of changes and updates to already added businesses and heists, upping the original and doomsday heist payouts, making them much more viable as an actual way to earn proper money in the game, especially given the inflated economy that GTA Online has due to rising prices with every new update. Keeping with the heist, they also nerfed Kyle Perico, so that now the cooldown before you can repeat the heist is about 3 hours compared to about an hour it was before. Uh, so that's a little bit shit, but really and truly, you shouldn't be playing Kyle Perico that much for it to be relevant. Now, apart from heist, we got a wonderful quality of life update, featuring the ability to finally buy and sell things for our businesses in private lobbies. And a long way to feature that is taking ages to finally get work done and add it after toiling for months, years even, to get this here. Something so breathtaking and life giving that the fact that it has only been added in now is travesty. We can now eat snacks and apply armor from our weapon wheel. And the best part of the update for me is that we finally got some updates to the previously added businesses with payout bonuses across the board and some small additions to things like the Bikers DLC, such as the clubhouse now becoming populated like the nightclub after doing a resupply. Adds a nice bit of, you know, life to the clubhouse that is usually only for players and can be a bit steel and barn looking, especially when you're a solar player. The nightclub gets some new events where you take, take drunk VIPs home or to the hospital as they need it. And some new popularity management missions that makes using that place a bit more interesting. And for my immersion lovers, we now have a physical car showroom that allows us to see cars in person before we buy. Which is pretty neat, I will say. Something we could have done with long, long before they've had these areas in the game in a broad sense for quite a while, but sure. And, and speaking about the popularity missions and stuff like that there, they finally have allowed us to uh, call up uh, Tony to allow us to start these management missions from our phone instead of having to go to the club, start the mission, go out, do the mission, come back to the club to do another mission with the cooldown and uh, it's, it can just be a bit of a headache. But now we don't have to worry about that, which is it's pretty good. Overall, this isn't a big update, but it does show something that we should have been expecting from this game a long time ago. And hopefully this sets a new precedent for the game going forward that doesn't see old updates get left behind in the face of brand new content. But sure, we'll see if that actually happens, or if this was just a flaccid attempt to make players happy, while Rockstar slowly start to move forward with their new project that is inevitably going to result in GTA Online being irrelevant in the near future. But ah well, we'll see. See you next time gamers, and don't be a griefing cunt. But yeah guys, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, share this with all your friends and stuff. It's much appreciated. It really, it really helps me out. And you know, text very left, little effort for yourselves. So it's very much appreciated. Hope you take it easy. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Be great if I did. Peace out.